We are so excited to talk about how the Celtics and our partners at Positive Coaching Alliance are working to just make sports more inclusive and really a safe place and a welcome place for everyone. The first identity I ever formed as a young child was I am an athlete. And just think about how powerful that is at a young age. Sports help me form a sense of self-identity, and we hope that today's event can spark conversations around the dinner table, around the conference room, in locker rooms, and empower viewers to go back to their communities with the tools to uphold the true spirit of sport, which is promoting and celebrating the inclusion of all youth in sports. So I want to say the first time I picked up any ball was probably when I was like four years old. <laughs> I really circled my entire childhood, just like kind of what you were saying earlier around sports. Well, you have received a lot of well-deserved attention for what you're doing off the court at Springfield. You recently started an LGBTQ plus support group for student athletes on campus. Tell us about the process of starting that group and how you were able to get it off the ground. Springfield College has a leadership, a student leadership team, and it's it's a club designed for athletes on campus to voice like their opinions and how they feel and stuff like that. And so that's how I first got um, interested in it. I wanted to create this support group for people in the LGBTQ community who didn't really get to express how they were feeling or how if they were going through any struggles, like if they needed support. And so it is, it is titled a support group. But when we do meet, it is more of just like a good time for athletes to come together. And we really do a lot of educating as well as trying to just get the word out that this is something that's normal, that should be normalized on campus. At the end of the day, everyone deserves to be who they are and deserve to love somebody. And there's nothing wrong with needing support and a little bit of a push to get there. You know, now I'm becoming a lot more aware of some of the obstacles that face um, young people experiencing the game. And that's part of why I'm continuing to educate myself and hopefully, you know, deliver the right message for kids that participate in youth basketball as part of the Celtics. There's so much power in sport, as Amanda mentioned, as Grace mentioned. Um, you know, it brings people from all over the world together. It's a universal language. And so, you know, we have to make sure we leverage the natural inclusiveness of sport and use it to make sure all of our kids, everyone, no matter your gender, your age, your sexual orientation, we didn't make sure that everyone feels welcome because when you take away sports from someone, um, you could be taking away their community, their health and their joy. The first thing I would tell someone is to realize that you're your own team captain. So get you a squad. You're in charge of picking the team. Find you a team of believers, people that believe in you, in your school, in your community, uh, your family members, wherever. You know, I truly believe that um, team sports has the power of setting a standard of how the world should be. So if we don't, if we don't teach our kids about diversity and inclusion, we'll continue to live in a society um, with discrimination and with racism and, and hate. So. Um, you know, in, in team sports, we should be teaching our kids that everyone's role is important from the starting point guard to the team manager. Um, and everyone brings value. And, and that's a lesson that we can teach our kids through sport and it'll stay with them throughout their entire life. You know, we want to say thank you to the viewers. We just hope that you enjoyed today's event and learned some tools and resources and advice to bring back to your own communities and how you can continue to help us make sports a safe and welcome place for everyone. The time for equality and inclusion is now. It starts with you. And I'm going to say this loud and proud, go Celtics. <laughs>